Penny and Ask says, Hi Peter, I'm more upset at no Happy Easter on so many eggs. I'm not religious, but it is, it is our culture. So many just have chocolate egg on it. Well, we'll take a look at that now with Tech Up Dave, actually. Uh, Penny in Essex has been in touch. We have also have an NHS doctor saying, don't eat an Easter egg in one go. Uh, doctor, what's his name? Um, doctor Andrew Kelso, I'm going to ignore you uh, on that. Um, Dave. Hello, sir. How are hello, you? Hello. You don't uh, have to ignore him. I've come up with a workaround. You've come up... What's the workaround on eating a whole Easter egg in one go? Uh, well, you just eat half of it and then you crack another one open and you eat the other half. The other half of that one and then give the other person... Yeah, that's... I mean, in a court of law, you would win. Exactly. So, Tech Up Dave is here. Now, you've been on the prowl. You've got your Easter egg hat on as yes. well with your bunny ears. Um, yeah, never want to take life too seriously. Um, but, but quite seriously, for a lot of people, Easter is a really expensive time. There are lots of expensive eggs out there costing an absolute fortune. We talked about shrinkflation previously, and we talked about Easter eggs, actually, at that point that Penny makes. There's a shop that's omitted Easter from eggs advert. This is a Cadbury store that's been criticised by Christian campaigners after advertising Easter eggs as gesture eggs. Uh, the shop was in Spalding in Lincolnshire. It was promoting a two for ten pounds deal on the eggs when it omitted the reference to Easter. The Cadbury's owner said it has no involvement in the promotion and that the store is licensed to Fresh Stores Limited uh, and Fresh Stores was compact to, for comment by the newspaper. I'm reading out for this, uh, the eye. But they are definitely, definitely Easter eggs. No doubt about that. We wouldn't be having these eggs unless they were, uh, unless it was Easter. Um, no. But the question I want to ask you before I try any chocolate whatsoever is why can't you put cream eggs in your hand luggage? Well, this has come out this week and it's all down to the nice people at Heathrow and Bristol Airport. And you can't take a cream egg on a plane because it will break the liquid allowance that you're allowed is in your hand luggage. Is it because there's more than 100 millilitres of, cream of, of, of in liquid the, in a cream egg? Yes. <laughs> How nuts is that? Uh, well, it's not nuts, it's cream egg. Exactly. Um, both airports added that cream eggs may be confiscated as they could breach the rules when carrying liquid to their filling. Bristol Airport even says security staff may remove chocolate eggs from their packaging to be inspected. <laughs> yeah, we know why that is. We know Sorry, how Sorry, uh, unfortunately, you can't bring these on. Uh, what do you want to do with Oh, we'll just discard that egg. Nom, nom, nom. nom, 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 nom. Yeah, exactly. And I'm sorry you can't take that egg on board. We'll have to confiscate it. Nom, 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 nom. Exactly. Advice from Bristol Airport. If travelling with Easter eggs, passengers are advised to keep any chocolate treats in your cabin baggage and to make sure they're easily accessible as they may need to be opened for a quick check. Oh, that's nonsense. Anyway, tell me about the Easter eggs you found because, actually, no, we'll go to Shane first. Oh. Shane Williams has said, yes. uh, G'day, Pete, you mentioned cream eggs. It's Saturday night, he's in Australia. Uh, that's why he's saying G'day. I've had a couple of cream eggs and a few beers. It doesn't go down too well. Happy Easter to you and Jack, says uh, Shane. Well, happy Easter to you, Shane. It'll be, I, I would imagine it'll be Easter with you now with the time difference so it'll be Easter Sunday or Easter Day as some people call it um, so um, I, let's just call it Easter Sunday but yeah cream eggs and beer I'm not sure what, that's no, the, necessarily that's, the that's, best combination that's not going to go well is it no it's not no. Um, Dan and Kent says been looking forward to the next feature I know it's going to be excellent um, yes there we are um, uh, Terry in Birmingham says hi Peter if Liz Truss was likened to a lettuce so should Rishi Sunak a wet one time for him to go um, that's not about Easter eggs but thank you very much anyway Terry in Birmingham so I mean we We've got quite a few here. We've got Lidl, Aldi, Tesco, Sainsbury's, Poundland, Home Bargains and B&M. You, you went around quite a lot. You took your assignment very seriously. I did. Dave, I, and thank you for doing so. I thought it was the only way to do this. Don't do it half-hearted and we can probably eat them all at a later date. I, I, um, I think we probably can. I, I, I will volunteer to help you. I'll, I will excellent. make sure you're not left alone on that. You've got some pretty sort of normal, straightforward ones. You've got a got, Dinosaur Smarties yeah, one. Smarties one. Kit, and Kit, Kit Kat, Kat one. There. They're There's, about three quid, the Kit Kat ones, if you're looking around. OK. Tesco. So are flogging those at about three quid. That's not too bad. And Sainsbury's are selling them for about £3.25. OK. So, but they seem to be dropping prices because they want to get them out. Of so, course. The best I mean, time to buy Easter eggs is, of course, Easter Monday, when yes. they really want rid of them. Or buy them on Boxing Day when they start selling. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. And, what, and there's some with toys as well. You've yes, one from Aldi there. Uh, there's one from Aldi here which has a, a, a small dinosaur with it. Yes. Uh, you can also get a one with a mermaid or a hedgehog. OK, that's, and that's th Dino the Dinosaur. Danny the Dino. Yes, and that comes in at 4 99 OK, so you get the, the toy so get as the well. Toy so that's good for a younger the, child. Yes, what is the quality of the chocolate, though? Should we try that um, one? I don't know, should we try Yeah, that? let's try that okay, one. We'll so that, this, this is the out. Aldi one. This is Dairy Fine Egg and Dino. You can also have a hedgehog or a mermaid, as, as Dave said. That's 4 .99. So you've got an egg and a little soft toy as well. Yes. Um, so we're going to give this chocolate a bit of a try and see if it's any good. Give it a, give it a smash there. There we go, on the desk. 
Sorry. We're all, no, we're always telling uh, we're always telling our guests not to sort of tap the desk because if they do that near the microphone, you can kind of hear it and the vibrations are there. But let's try. Um, it has really come in in uh, hasn't really in useful. It's, it's broken a bit. It's broken enough. Um, yeah, no, that's fine. Try that one. This is the oldie one. I think our chocolate's okay, actually. It's nice. I haven't tried it yet. Well, give it a go. I, I was always told not to eat with me mouth, or not to talk, talk with, with me mouth. Talk with your mouth full, yeah. Well, I'm afraid I just, just clearly uh, didn't get that advice. Um, but, I mean, yeah, I, I think that's okay. That's it's nice. not the nicest chocolate I've ever tasted, but it's, it's fine. Mm -hmm. um, let's try another one of the bargain ones. Uh, what would you recommend? Maybe okay. from Aldi or Lidl or something well, like that? Well, if you went really, really... The cheapest way of doing this is either go and buy a tiny Freddo one, mm -hmm. which comes in with lots of Freddo heads, yes. and they are £1.50. Okay. So that's fairly cheap. Or, if you want to really, really cheap, buy a big bag of mini eggs. Because that's good value, isn't it? There's eight packets in this bag. Oh, there are eight packets of mini eggs. And it was only a fiver. So but if it's also got... not an Easter egg, and if you have a child, they'll, they're going to yeah. want an Easter egg, aren't they? That's true. So, uh, if you wander off to Lidl, this is where we get fired by Phil Dave, by the way. Oh, right, okay. Because I found a fudge biscuit blast. Oh, 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 it's biscuit Easter. related. So it's biscuit related. Sorry, sorry, sorry. we can't talk about that so uh, at all. So do you want all. to crack that one? No, no, we can't. Well, I'm afraid we just can't talk about that because it's, it's biscuit related and yes. uh, Phil Phil will be and that unhappy. Was, that uh, was £3.50, that one. Just the reference, obviously, is to Phil Dave there, who's our weekend editor on Enemy of Fun. Yes. Um, so he, he, he killed the biscuit breakdown. Um, so previously. I got a biscuit egg. So we got a biscuit egg there. Seems so. Yeah, no, he didn't kill Cat of the Week. No, he didn't kill Cat of the Week, uh, Chris. That was a decision. That was a mutual decision. We did a hundred of them. Anyway, um, right, we're going to do... Um, we're going to do this. Now, this so is that's interesting a because... that's a fudge biscuit blast. So you can also is, get a is... white chocolate with mini egg egg. OK, so I'm holding it up to the camera, but for people who are listening on the radio, this has got biscuit in it, it's got fudge, it's got white chocolate. It's sort of inlaid in the actual egg itself. Egg itself. And if you break it, like that... <laughs> It'll all, it'll all come apart. It's all over the place. It's all over the desk here. Um, we have it. I didn't think it would actually disintegrate to this. Exploded. This sort of degree. But well all, all of this has, has disintegrated. I'm just going to have to eat that now, Dave. Well, yes. And this so, is the Mr. Chalk one. Where is this from? That came from Lidl, that one. Yeah, excellent. Well, I'll try a little bit of that. That's delicious. Now, I have the Aldi cookies and cream milk chocolate egg which is a similar similar so the, even even for reasonable amounts of money this so was 350 as well okay i mean this is this is not we're not breaking the bank with these obviously for three or four kids or whatever it's going to be it's going to get expensive for lots of grandchildren yeah but really you can get creative and different eggs for for not a huge amount of money oh this is clever What's going on here? This one's got a flat bottom. Ah, that's so clever. So can stand it up. I would stand it up. Oh, I suppose I could balance yeah. it there. Oh, no. So, yes. No, that's very good. Actually. So that, that's 350 as well. Do you want to try a bit of this one? Um, I'm kind of enjoying this one, to be honest. Oh, right. I'm okay. it. Uh, I, I might try this one, then. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. Gas has arrived. Deanna Davidson has... She's meant to come in in a couple of minutes' time, but we really, really appreciate the fact that you've come early. Uh, Diana, well, that's, that's very decent of I, you. I thought it was my moral duty mm. to be here to try this colossal bag of mini eggs. Would you like to try a bit of Aldi cookies and cream? Of course I would, yeah. I haven't tried that. What do you mean? That's I'm, quite thick, actually. Yours one doesn't You're pointing at an MP saying that's quite that's thick. <laughs> <laughs> I meant Not the, the first end. time it's been said, Peter. <laughs> that's pretty good. Try try the... Um, what about the... Yeah, try a little bit of this. What about the... What is this? this? This is the one. Where was this one from? That one's from Lidl. That yeah, one. it's being presented to me on your... On, on my, my printouts. Yeah. Uh, on my I'd notes. like to apologise. He did smash it on the desk and it exploded. <laughs> Stop punching. There we go. There we go. Ooh. I think it's delicious. It's got What's fudge that? and everything. Mm. In it. That's a fudge biscuit one, but we can't mention the biscuits. That is really good, though. Is it? Oh. Mm. I'm a big fan. I mean, you've a lot Very of chocolate sweet. there. Dave, you really took this mission mm. quite seriously. What, from all you've all you've eaten, what's your favourite one? I don't know. All of them. <laughs> all of them. So I, I, re I refer you back to the, the how we started this. Don't eat a whole egg. Yep. Eat half of one and then crack another one open and eat the That's other very half. Wise. Dave, I'm sorry, I'm dropping chocolate all over the floor in That's the studio right. here. But very, very good. Um, well, listen, apart from the dropping of the chocolate, um, Diana, what is in your show? Many Between things. one and four. Uh, she's just finishing a little bit Many of Easter things. egg there. Um, finishing a little bit of Easter egg. We'll leave you some of this for your show as well. So I the appreciate break, that. Can, yeah. I'm not sure I'll make it through three hours if all I'm doing is getting on a sugar high. With if you're in a stuff. diabetic coma. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, also, thank you to Louise, who says, Great show, Peter. Just so you know, there are deep frying cream eggs in Gosport Fish Shop. Okay, if you're in <laughs> if you're in Gosport, you can go and have a deep fried cream egg. Just don't fly there because that could be problematic. I want to thank the top team behind the glass. Um, Dave. <laughs> 
Dave's just playing this for me. Thank you to Chris Jacobs. This is a musical sheep. Uh, Titus D'Souza, Dave Rhodes, Naya Saravanchi and Phil Dave, who've been the top team behind the glass today. Uh, I'm slightly struggling with the musical sheep. Deanna Davidson is next. Hopefully it'll have stopped by then. See you tomorrow. Talk TV's Common Sense Weekend just got remixed. We've added twice as much Cardi P to your TV. Yes, your Sundays now come with added Peter Cardwell. Exclusive interviews, the latest news, and of course, your views. That's Peter Cardwell, every Saturday and now every Sunday, 10 till 1 on Talk TV. If you're thinking about it, we're talking about it. Very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. The home of big opinions. Oh, don't start me on that. Straight talking. There's a sort of feeling they ought to look as if they're doing something. And no nonsense. So don't accuse anyone else of stoking culture wars. Is going digital. Such as the smoke and mirrors of, of politics. Make sure you're ready. But the government has got to be more flexible. From the end of April, listen to talk on radio via DAB or your smart speaker. Or watch live on YouTube on your connected TV.